Have you ever wondered what it's like with digital art sometimes? You're transitioning from pen and pencil and you want to get better and you think all these people have a tablet and I don't. Well, this video has three options for you to choose from and well, let's just get into it, shall we? The cheapest of our three options is the Wacom Intuos. Now this one is portable, it's Bluetooth enabled, there's no cables, but there's a big problem. It's got no screen. So as you can see, it's portable, there's no need to charge it, it's cheap, and it does include some software. But, as with all these things, you're going to need to activate that software by signing up for a Wacom uh, monthly account. With the cons as well, with no screen, it's a steep learning curve and muscle memory that you need to be aware of before you actually draw. So our next option iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil is by far the most expensive of these options. But with that expense, with that amount of money, comes with the screen, it has, it's essentially a mini laptop. So you can do everything with it. You can upload videos, you can draw, you can edit them. So it is multifunctional and it does have a screen, which is always a good thing. But, obviously, since this is not meant to be purely a drawing tablet, although you can use it as such, it's not got any express keys, it's not got any uh, advanced drawing features that you might want. And for the amount of money that it is, it's over a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars, then you have to weigh up is it worth it for the portability and the multifunctionality to get an iPad Pro or a normal iPad. If you do go this way I would go for the iPad Air which is a bit cheaper. You do need the Apple Pencil stylus in order to actually do detailed work and you do need the third-party apps because as I said it's not purely a drawing tablet. It is a tablet computer that has a lot of different functions. So now on to our third option, and this option requires a bit of explaining. The Huion Canva 16 is a dedicated screen drawing tablet. It is equivalent to the Wacom Cintiq in terms of functionality. It has that Express Keys, it has its screen, so you can just literally, whatever you do on it, it is a screen. And it can be used with any software, Adobe, it can be used with Clip Studio, anything that you have installed on your laptop or desktop device. Now that's where the cons come in. The Huion series of tablets, and I think this also goes for Wacom Cintiqs as well, so it's not just Huion, need cables. If you're working on a desktop, the I.O. ports, you know, the, the USB, the HDMI, that's not going to be much of a problem for you since you can either build it yourself or you can normally get desktops with multiple of these ports. But let me just pause us for a minute and explain. On a laptop, 
because of form fa- form factor now, and where everything's getting thinner and thinner, it is hard to find a cheapish laptop that has the required ports. With my workstation, I have a laptop, I have a HP laptop, I had to spend over a thousand pounds for it because I needed to have a HDMI port, a USB port, and well, it was very hard to find them. But if you're transitioning from pen and pencil, maybe one of these is a good option for you. You don't have to have digital art, of course you don't. Pen and pencil works perfectly fine. You know, and traditional art is still good, but digital art opens up some portability and some extra detail or extra things that you can use that maybe you couldn't do on traditional art. It's sometimes easier. But have a think. I'll see you next time.